good morning. I've had a couple people PM me about how I sharpen my knives. Um, I do obviously have a grinder, so you know I can sharpen knives on there. Um, I am working on building a 2x72 grinder that will have adjustable speed, and that's what I'll use. But um, what I prefer using to sharpen all my knives are just Japanese water stones that I inherited from my dad. Um, these two stones are about 60 years old. And then I was gifted a, uh, I believe this is a 6,000 grit king water stone. And I'll get into that in a second. Uh, this one is a 800 grit king stone. I got a 1200 grit and then I typically step it right up to the 6,000 and then I have a plain leather strop. It's just leather um, glued to a piece of wood and then I use mother's chrome mag polish. That's all I use. Um, and before I do any of that stuff, I just clean. This is soap in here and a rag and then I got a bucket and I'll clean off the knife. I, uh, so it's real good so you're not seeing any illusions by dirt. And then I soak my stones in the bucket. I don't, I'm not really concerned about what the water is. I, I've used lake, wa lake water, river water. I don't really care. Um, you know, water out of the tap. Soak my stones. I put them up here and then I just uh, work away. Uh, I learned my <clears throat> sharpening method from Murray Carter. Um, watching his videos and I I've always sharpened on stones but I've sharpened everything this is uh polar m390 and I kept the uh, factory geometry this is like I believe 32 Rockwell um, this is L max I believe this is six did I say 32 I meant 62 Rockwell uh, this is 60 Rockwell I believe L max uh, this is Z-Ware at 60 and a half Rockwell um, that's 3V at 61 Rockwell, you know, kitchen knives, um, S30V, um, Leatherman, really reduce the edge on this, cuts fantastic. So that's all it is, super simple. I think you can get a lot of, a lot more accuracy and a lot more knowledge of learning to freehand sharpen rather than using a jig. Um, and I've... You know, I'm sure if you get into steels that are in like the 65 to, you know, an up rock well, you might have some problem with these stones cutting cutting the metal. But I have had absolutely no problem with up to 63 rock well stuff, and of course everything below that. So I hope that helps. Um, if I if I do have to like adjust the geometry quite a bit, I typically will use this with some 220 grit sandpaper, and then uh, proceed from there. All righty. I don't know the lyrics to the song though, that's a problem.